Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Hello, good evening for all. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? So fine. Excellent. Nice to see you. Oh. Nice to see you. Vamos a ver. Colin. How was your day? Did you have a nice day today? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Yes. Oh, November 15. Time is really, really, really flying, right? Yeah, flying. Flying. In a couple of days, we will be finishing November and mm -hmm. Christmas. Oh. And Christmas time is coming. Almost, no. almost, almost. Did you put the uh, Christmas tree? Believe me that I haven't had time to do it. <laughs> In my home, not yet. And we put uh, only out there, out there, uh, no, no, no. We don't have or we don't put a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. What yeah, but yeah. when we usually put a, a pine flower. Okay. Yeah, a candle. Hmm. Mm. I guess I'm going to put it mm, maybe beginning of December. Because yeah. right now with the end of school year, it's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I have been in the computer for this, this last week. I have been in the computer since very early in the morning. I just moved to it. <laughs> and, then, mm -hmm. and then I come and sit down in front of the computer again. Imagine that we are supposed, well, we have to finish tomorrow. So we okay. Have, oh, oh, we finished. Well. Finish. So no way to say, ah, uh, maybe like, no, no, no. I have to tomorrow. Hmm. So then I will have a tomorrow uh, is the deadline. But tomorrow before 10, 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Because I 10 a.m. <laughs> yes. Okay. You are going to spend all the night. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I, so I will have to drink a couple mm. of cups of coffee. Two or three cups of coffee, and that's okay. And that's okay. It's I enough. Will, yeah, I will be. The thing is that we have all, almost, we can say we have the day tomorrow, right, to, to finish everything. But I have an appointment mm -hmm. with the doctor. So I have to move. Then I won't be able to tomorrow. Yeah. But, but I'm about to finish and then I will have a day off. I can, yeah, I hope. I hope. Next week we mm -hmm. start planning for next year. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> so yes. That's that's my my life at this time of the year, right, Anna? Mm -hmm. Exciting, right? Mm, yes, teacher. Excuse me. Good evening, everybody. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, for yesterday, we have, to have finished the the. the you should be. Huh? No, 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 no. Because remember mm -hmm. that you need two is always long, 
right? Thanks God that we didn't have to collect grace here. No. No. Uh, you need to is always long. It's like since we began intermediate, you need to is very, very long. We finish you need to on day 14, 15. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. means that for next, for Friday, right? For Friday this week or for the latest Monday next week, we should have you two. Okay. We have a Buena, exam, but but uh, not for not for last Monday, right? We, we still have this week to finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because of the way they distribute, you need to that is longer with the topics. So the homework goes longer. If you notice, the homework of unit two is longer than the homework of unit one, three, and four. But mm -hmm. you have the advantage that you have more time to finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. But remember for Monday, everything has to be ready, right? It has to be complete. The midterm exam and the unit number two. So okay. as, as, soon as, as soon as you finish, uh, well, I will be collecting the, the scores on Monday. <laughs> and yeah, I, I really appreciate when you finish things on time because that means that the moment I go collect the grace, I can be sure that unit one is complete, unit two is complete, and like that. So I have my job updated. That's, that's the good thing, right? To have everything updated. So you can take advantage of that and do it during all this week, right? Or finish the weekend. So, I would like to pick all scores, the latest, um, okay, Sunday. I will, I will try to finish on Friday, I think. Yeah, that would be better. Mm -hmm. That would be better because like that, I can be, a, I can be free on Sunday night, right? Mm -hmm. Just go give a check, quickly check, that um, can be sure that you're ready, that you are ready finished, or that you have already finished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Believe me that I haven't gone to see what you're doing, right? That I will. I will as soon as I come back tomorrow, I'm going to go check how you're doing because I haven't had the chance to go check that as soon as I come tomorrow, I'm going to check how you're doing. And remember, if you have questions, it is better if you're working on time because the moment you have the question, we can check it here, right? You, we can check what's going on. But so far, no problems, right? With the platform right now? No? No problem, hey? No, no, no problem. Everything is well. That's nice, that's fantastic. Because sometimes we have some, some issues to fix. So we need a little time to report and to wait for them to fix, right? Because I'm not the one who fixes a platform. I cannot do anything there. I just can see and report. So doing everything on time, it is easy because uh, I can report any issue as soon as possible, right? Okay, well, let's see, tell me present. Adolfo? Present teacher. Nice. I need, uh, teacher, I need to take 15 minutes to deliver a uh, natural candy in my town. Okay, okay. Please. Good, you will lose the, the tongue twister. But you have to say it at the end. <laughs> okay. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. 
Nice. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Great Sophie, Ana. Present teacher. Brenda Alexandra. Brenda, Brenda, no here. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Cruz Antonio. Present. Nice. David. Present teacher. Elmer. Sigo llamando a Elmer. Eh, José Alberto. Present teacher. Nice. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Eh, José Arnoldo. Present. Alpina. Present teacher. ¿Cómo sigo? Carlita, mejor. Alito. Okay. I think maybe I have COVID. Ah, otra vez. Carlita. Ay, no. Really. Yeah. But I, I am a little better today. Are you taking medicine already? No. No, because I have a test in Saturday, but the, uh, you it's have negative. You, oh, it's negative. When did you start with the, with the problems? Um, Thursday. Mm, it was too soon. It was too soon. You have to wait about four days to get a positive answer. Well, no positive. Yeah, I, but at least I've seen this. Mm -hmm. Because in, in my house, my mother is is uh, is sick too. Yes, he, 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 she she got positive. Yes, but she in, in the in the in the seguro. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, she listed on a PCR. Ah, pues sí, sí, sí. But, but that's what happens. The thing is that uh, this new COVID that, that is given, uh, you cannot take the exam too soon because if you take it two days after you started with the with the with the problems, the exam gets negative. So it gives you a false negative. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, I'm asking this, but I am a little better today. But at least that's positive. But <clears throat> take it, right? So nothing gets. <clears throat> Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio Emilio. No, here, Mauricio. Nubia Zulema. Yes, teacher. Nice, nice. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saul Edgardo. Saul Edgardo. No here. Saul, no, verdad? No, here. Hey. Sulmayanet. Present teacher. Nice. Victor. Present teacher. Sus polos me los cobraron el 17 y supuestamente estaban en 14. Reported. Okay. 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 And Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Well, 
Brenda no here, right? Claudia? No. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to share with you uh, what I have for you today. I have a tone, well, two tone twisters for you. So you can start talking. <laughs> so you start with the tongue twister check. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, the unit is, so the topic of the, of the class is review and practice of vocabulary related to seven R's as well as three PL, right? That's what we are going to be checking. And the purpose, so the objective is participants will be able to express the advantages of outsourcing a 3 p.m. service provider. We continue with the same objective. Okay, this is the tongue twister, the first I have two. This is the first tongue twister I have for you. Hmm, read it, right? Read it and then I will ask for board readers. Check proper. I'm going to go for pronunciation of a couple words. Proper, copper, coffee. Yes, proper, copper, coffee. Proper cup of coffee. Proper, copper, coffee, pot. Yeah, coffee, proper, copper, pot. pot. Okay, that, that, those are the, the words that you're going to be using there. So, go ahead, read it silently, and then I will want to listen to you as volunteers. Mm -hmm. Volunteers will be my first volunteer. If no, I will send you to small groups for you to. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> Brenda will be my first volunteer. Okay. Um, just have read. Yeah. Yeah. Hold okay. or just one. This is one. Okay, made in, made, made, made in a proper copper coffee pot. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All is one. It's un tongue twister. Don't okay, you? all I want is a proper cup of coffee. You can believe it or not, but I want a cup of coffee from a proper copper pot. Thin coffee pots on iron coffee pops. They are not good to me. If I can't have a proper cup of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot, I'll just have tea. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. You can believe it or not, but I want a cup of coffee from a proper copper pot. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, who will be my next volunteer? If no. Me, 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 me. I'll try. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If no, Brenda was going to choose. <laughs> okay, Anna, go ahead. A made up, made in a proper copper coffee pot. All I want is a proper cup of coffee. You can believe it or not. But I want a cup of coffee from a proper copper pot. Thin coffee pots or iron coffee pots, they're not good to me. To me, to me. Perdón, los quito de aquí. Espérame que no miro. Yo me estoy quitando. Ay. <laughs> bueno, sí. Va. Thin coffee pots or iron coffee pots, they're not good to me. If I can have a proper cup of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot, I'll just have tea. All I want is a proper cup of coffee, made in a proper copper coffee pot. You can believe it or not, 
but I want a cup of coffee from a proper copper pot. Okay, very good. Excellent, Anna. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do I have a volunteer, another volunteer or victim? Mm -hmm. Volunteer or victim? Mm -hmm. Okay, Anna, choose a partner. Okay. Aquí se ve Fernando Enrique. Fernando. <laughs> Fernando Enrique, your turn. Escondido, dice Fernando, para que no lo vean, pero siempre lo vemos. Ok, Fernando. Fernando, Fernando. Fernando, hello. Ah, pues para no perder la costumbre, Rosy, vaya. Ok, Rosy. Ya lo veía venir. Ok. <risa> <risa> yeah. Me... Made in a proper copper coffee pot, all I want is a proper cup of coffee. You can believe it or not, but I want a cup of coffee from a proper copper pot. Thin coffee pots or iron coffee pots, they're not good to me. If I can't have a proper cup of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot, I just have tea. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. You can believe it or not, but I want a cup of coffee from a proper copper pot. Hey, very good. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you very much. And then we go for the next one. Check the next one. This is then I'm going to move you again. Okay, that's Mr. Mr. C own a soul, own, right? This is own a soul, soul, own a C soul, right? Sold, C soul, sold, source, C soul. This is more difficult. <laughs> Yes. Hello, teacher. I am here again. Okay, great, great. You're just on time. And then we have sore, 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 sore. How sore seems this so before she sold source see so. Yes. Okay. Who will be my volunteer here? Volunteer or victim? Yo, teacher, yo, pero a ver si me sale. Yes, uh, very good, brave, brave. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. C. Aunel Asau and Mr. Sol Aunel Asiso. Now, C. Saul, Saul Sol Asiso. Before soul, South Sea, which made soul, soul, <laughs> has soul seen seas. So before sea, um, sour, sour, soul, sea, so seas, south wool, wool don't have, not have. sour. Not have sour, sour, sea sour. So seas sour, 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 sea sour. <laughs> but it was sad to see sour, so sour. Just because seas sour, 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 sea sour. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want another volunteer. Who will be my volunteer? Me, Who teacher. <laughs> oh. Oh, only, only in the practice, I bite my tongue like uh, 20 times. <laughs> but I try. OK. Uh, Mr. C. Mr. C on a soul. 
and Mr. Sore owned a CISO. Now, CISO sold source CISO before Sore saw so C, which made Soar Sore. Has Soar seen CISO before C sold source CISO? CISO will not have sold source CISO. So CIS sold, sold source CISO, but it was sad to see SOAR so sore. Just because CIS so sold source CISO. <laughs> okay, very good. Do you know what is a so? No. <laughs> it's a kind of tool. Sí, es un serrucho. It's a tool, serrucho. What is a CISO? What's a CISO? CISO. Um, because you have a SO and a CISO, right? El, el, yeah. I, I I don't remember. I don't remember. Is a is a kind of powder. How much? When you when you when you put the saw in the wood, in the wood, yeah. Children play on it. Children play on a seesaw. Mm, yeah. Uh -huh. Seesaw. Okay. And so is the serrucho. What is sold? Sold this. What with a saw, right? What with a saw? Sold. Yeah. What is for? What is? For. Door? No. This, this door uh, is the man, right? No, door. And the second door, that's this one. Ah, mouse. This door is similar to heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, qué mala gente. You, you got what it says. Now that you know the meaning of so, que es serrucho, and si so, que es el cosito este, ¿verdad? El sub y baja. And so is to cut with a so. You see, Mr. C own a so. And Mr. Sore own a si so. Now, sis so, so do source CISO, right? CIS, so, so do source CISO. O sea, el, el, el seguro, el serrucho de sí cortó el subibaja. De el subibaja. Ajá. Before yeah. sore, so sí. Which made sore, sore. Has sore seen CIS? So, before C sold source CISO, CISO will not have sold source CISO. So that means if SOAR has seen CISO, C wouldn't have cut the CISO, right? So CISO mm -hmm. sold source CISO, but it was sad to see SOAR so sore just because CISO sold source so Sor was very sad and he was hurt because his CISO had been sold with the soul. Okay. I mean, now I want another volunteer. Another volunteer. Alberto, choose. <laughs> you have the yeah. right to choose. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Rosy, no, yeah, Rosy, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, 
Adriana Sofia. Adriana Sofia, all the one that escaped from the previous one. Ah. Okay. Mr. C owned a saw, and Mr. Sword owned a seesaw. Now, seesaw sword, sword seesaw before sword seesaw. So see, <laughs> which means sore, sore, mm -hmm. had sore, seen, see so. Before see so it, sore, see so, see so will not have so it. Source, see so. So, see so, so it, source, see so. But it was sad to see sore, so sore, just because see so, so it. Sorcizo. Okay, great, great. Thank you, Safi. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's we're ready to work, right? Check. I have a couple of questions for you. Remember yesterday we were talking about the three PL, right? For your business. So what you're going to discuss now, I'm going to send you two groups for you to go and discuss and refresh, uh, refresh your memory about what we were talking about yesterday. How do you know? <laughs> no, no, verdad que no, no se lo tomaron ustedes, no, verdad. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. No, Adolfo, we didn't. Okay, but how do you pick the right 3PL for your business? And the next question, is price the most important criteria to decide on the right 3PL? What do you think? Okay, I'm going to send you. These questions are in your manual, page 21. 21? Okay, so go. Let me confirm. Speak to anyone. Okay, well, I'm going to send you to the groups for you to go discuss the question. Well, I'm going to make groups of three. There you go. Page 21, discuss the questions. Join, join. Join, join, Novia, Jose Alfredo, Fernando, Jose Arnoldo. Oh, yeah. Okay, twenty one. Okay. Um, okay, now page. 21. Yeah, 21. Okay. 21. How do you pick the right 3PL for the, your business? Mm -hmm. And is price the most important criteria to decide the right 3PL? I think hmm? that the price is one of the most important. Yeah, one of the because most, not the most, right? Obviously, you are outsourcing a 3PL company because you need to, to um, reduce your costs. Yeah. But you need to... You need to see this the this infrastructure yeah. and, 
and the team that a third party logistics company has. Mm -hmm. So if, if you choose a, a third party logistics, but they didn't, they don't have enough a person co worker, enough co workers. Huh? Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you you won't get an answer or a customer service attention in the time that you need. Mm -hmm. So okay, if we are if we are a company, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go go ahead, please. So for me, it's important the price and como la estructura de la empresa, no sé cómo es structure. Yeah. Organization in this case. Mm -hmm. Organization, right, teacher? She is talking mm -hmm. about the organization around the company, right? Okay. So you're thinking about the 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 all triple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, for me, the price is not the most important because we have to, in this case, uh, uh, in this exercise, we have to think about as a, we have to think, we have to think as a company, not as, as a customer, right? And sometimes the company put or fix the price and the customer look for that. No. But but we have to consider, uh, we have to we have to think about the the other factors <laughs> that include the triple right. But I don't know what about or how do you like Rose? Um, for me, it's a little difficult answer answer question and then the class. Sorry. To understand the class. Yes. Um, no story yet. But no problem. Tripl Tripl is a kind of process, uh, like a tercerization, or is a is a part of the all the process of your business, right? For mm -hmm. example, you produce bananas and you look for a, for a company that is storage and transport and distribute to the final place the product, right? Mm -hmm. this, in this case, this is a TPL, this is a TPL uh, example. Now, the question is, how do you pick the right TPL for your business? Is important, is determinant for to, to be su success, uh, to be success. And the another question is the price, the most important criteria to decide to the right TPL. I don't, I don't think so because uh, low price, uh, because with if if somebody or some company offered to me a low price, it's not necessary to guarantee the quality to the of my product to the final consumer, right? Mm -hmm. okay. For me, in this case, not, not, is price no no is most important. Sure. No, it's not the most important. It's important, but it's not the most important mm -hmm. because uh, we uh, some some companies or a company can you offer to you the best price, <laughs> but they but they don't have a a specific schedule to 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 pick to storage to transport and to distribute the products uh, at a store, for example. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank you. How do you like, teacher? <laughs> Good explanation. Yes, thank you. <laughs> now you're ready. Okay, thank you. You still have any question, Rosy? No, teacher. Thank you, Adri. Thank you, Adolfo. Ahí nos manda fresco. <laughs> have you ha have you listened? Have you heard about <laughs> yes. my soft drink? Sorry. <laughs> All class, listen. <laughs> oh man, sorry. <laughs> no problem. No, now we have in my hand is a natural candy. Mm. Yeah, and chocolate. Oh, delicious. Yeah. <laughs> que, que, Vamos a mandar que, las direcciones para que nos mande cada uno para hacer. Yeah, el, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We have a special chocolate tablet. Oh. Yeah. Organic chocolate. Yeah, organic chocolate and natural, no artificial ingredients. That's perfect because uh, most of the time when when you buy chocolate, it is very very sweet. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like too sweet chocolate that is too sweet or that is a. Uh, how can I say, greasy, too greasy. Mm -hmm. Like if they put manteca nieve to the... Yeah, of course, yeah. And like that, it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. If you, if, you need, if you need dark chocolate, we can do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it? We can do it, we can do it. Yeah, if you need mixed sugar and mixed chocolate, we can do it too. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, fresh, only fresh ingredients. It's very difficult to, to get chocolate that is not too sweet or that is yeah. greasy. Mm -hmm. But that's nice. That's nice. So yeah, we will we will make a, 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 a chopping. <laughs> Yes, we sell from, uh, uh, we, we have a delivery service from $25. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. For Christmas presents. Yeah, and, of course. And with all the diabetics in the family. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Dark chocolate, dark chocolate, it's not a problem. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. That, that's good. That's not, not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I need to check one more group and then I call you, okay? Hi, hi. Oh, hello. Finish, Claudia. Yes. Okay, ready, ready. Okay. Nice. Couple of seconds, 27 seconds. And everybody will be back.
five seconds. Nice, I guess now hmm, we have lost some people in the way. Good, good. Now let's see first question. How do you pick the, the right three PL for your business? How? What do you take into consideration to choose the three the right three PL for your business? We were reading teacher and the, the reading said that the, the things that we have to take in consideration about decide to choose to hire a 3PL is rice. That it means that is if it's a not so expensive. Aha. Uh -huh. And and it depends if the if the mercancy is urgent or not. They say to escalability if they have the efficient organization if you increase your activity. Uh -huh. They are efficient response of, of that capacity. They say yeah, it, because if no, you will have to look for another one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. They talk about the technology. If the if the three PL have the logistic operators and the technology that automatization the process automatization automatization, automatization of the process. Mm -hmm. And the last one that the reading said is about reputation. The reference that the three PL have to have a uh, have to be good, and they have to stabil. Uh, no sé cómo se dice money stability. Financial stability. Exactly, financial stability. Financial stability. Financial, right? Please. So they are not to, to, to break. <laughs> so they say they, they are four, there are four things that we have to consider. Price, scalability, technology, and reputation. Okay. Technology and? Reputation. The reputation. Uh, reputation, okay. Reputation. Yeah. Thank you, Alice. Because imagine if somebody has the reputation of being irresponsible, you cannot give the, uh, that person all the logistics of your business. They will make you break, right? Mm -hmm. So the reputation, yeah, I agree with you. It's, yeah, it's important. It's one of the very, very important aspects to choose the, the right three PL. Okay. Uh -huh. I, will, I would like to listen to one more person on that same question. Yes, yes. Me, teacher? Yeah, tell me, Alberto. Okay, uh, we discussed in, in the group with uh, David and uh, Adriana Maria, and uh, we know uh, but uh, for the, uh, you can choose or you can pick the, the, the right to PL. You need to evaluate the condition and the requirement for your business. And if the three PL company have a good reference, a good price experience and advantage in the, in the market and responsibility, uh, and in innovation in, in the service, you can take a, a chase. Exactly. The, they have to be innovative, right? And they have to be ready to continue innovating because we cannot keep, imagine you hire a company that it's still old fashioned in the way of, of, of getting the orders. 
now what uh, Anna mentioned, the automatization of the of this uh, of everything, right? So everything has to be faster. So we cannot continue working the same way we used to work 25 years ago. I remember I was a secretary before being a teacher. And I remember I began working with a with a typewriter, a manual typewriter, right? Of course, everything was more difficult. Later on, I worked with an electronic typewriter. And right now, as a teacher, I'm not a secretary anymore, but as a teacher, I don't use a typewriter. I use a computer, right? That imagine if in the company that, if that you're getting your, like, to give you the support of the 3PL to your company, if they continue typing to fill in the, the orders, that will take longer, right? Or if they are with paper, still paper, and having a lot of filings on the documents all around, eh, that will take longer for you to go and find an order, yeah? But if you go to the computer quickly, yeah, yeah, here it is. So the automatization, right? That that definitely is, is the best thing. I remember when we started using the computer and they told us, all oh, your classes will be in the computer. We were like, God, really? My God. And you see now we depend on the computer so much that everything we do is faster, right? And that is everywhere. Okay, let's go to the next question. Is price the most important criteria to decide on the right TPL? David, what do you think? Is price the most important criteria to decide on the right 3PL? Um, uh, with, with, with my group, <coughs> excuse me, with my group is a, a, a talk about the price is the pen because the first is, uh, is invest is the uh, search or, or get up the reference and uh, the company the triple mm -hmm. uh, the triple uh, have the the experience with the the business then is the negotiate the the price or the tariff or the or tariff and the flat mm. oh. the tariff mm. like the price that they... the, the, like the price of the the, the what rate okay and then in, in the price is not most no is not most important, but the the is the very negotiate mm -hmm. for the experience. The experience is see is very important. The experience and the reputation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because remember that your reputation can go up or can go down depending on, on your job, right? And, and depending on the reference that the people can give on the, on the work that you as a company offer, right? Okay, okay, okay. What would you think? Oh, what do you think? When somebody offers to you something that you know it's too cheap. Uh, in my group with Adriana and Rose, 
we conclude that the price is not the most important criteria or factor to decide the TPL service, right? Because uh, a low price don't warranty uh, all the process in in the logistic from producer and storage and distribution and distribution to to the final consumer. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary the best ways to to pick or to to choose a TPL business a TPL service. Okay, and we can go to the saying, right? Lo barato sale caro. <laughs> so yeah. you have to analyze. Is that cheap? Yeah, it's cheap, but it's too cheap. Because yeah, we're always looking for offers, right? For things that mm -hmm. are a good price. But if it is too cheap, hmm, is it good? Right, it takes it takes us to think if it is good or not so good, if it is too cheap. Okay. Great, great. Now just refreshing your mind what we were mentioning yesterday about the third party logistics. We said that it is a, is used interchangeably with fulfillment warehouse or fulfillment center, right? And some companies offer that warehousing or those fulfillment companies, that means I'm going to take my product to that company and it will go out from that company too. So they will offer to me the warehouse. <laughs> Okay, the shipping and receiving the freight. Ship. Fernando is flying right now. Sorry, I'm not at home. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. The picking and packing, the kitting and customization, and the reverse logistics. So all the things can be included or not. Right? As we were mentioning before, it will depend on what your company needs. Right? If you need a warehousing only, if you need only the transportation, if you need everything from inbound to outbound, so it will depend on what your company needs. Right? And that's what you're going to get from the third party logistics. So at the moment of choosing the third party logistics, you have to think about many things. What do you have in your company? What is it possible for you to do in your company without paying anybody else? And what are those things that if you do them, they will be too expensive because you do not have the transportation, because you do not have the space, because you do not have the people, right? That's the, that's the main thing here. Now, look at this. When we talk about logistics, self-management logistics, we go uh, talking about the, the, three, the PL, 3PL or 1PL, that would be self-management logistics. So I do it and I don't worry about paying anybody else to do things. An asset-based career, somebody else will give me support. And the 3PL, partly or absolute outsourcing logistic services, that's the one that we're mostly talking about here. When we give some part of the outsourcing to another company, or we give absolute outsourcing to other companies related to logistics, right? We may have also a supply chain chain management, that's the 4PL, and a 5PL that will be logistic solutions for cost minimis minimization. We're talking about a couple of them before we go to the conversation, check. Here we have the first one. When talking about the 1PL self-logistics, uh, first party logistics refer to a manufacturer or a company having their cargo, 
freight for the transportation of goods from one place to another. So in other words, this model applies to the companies and traders who are self-capable of administering and taking care of the transportation. So me as a company, I have the trucks, I, I can move my, my things and I don't need anybody else to help me, right? I need to pay anybody else. That will be one PL self logistics. And also it says that uh, the company or the trader here is the consigner who administers the whole process of the transportation in its totality. The first uh, PL logistics comprises of two parties benefiting from the transaction, the seller, the trader, and the buyer, right? Apart from them, there is nobody else. So I relate only me as my company, right, as a manufacturer. I talk to the trader, and I talk to the buyer, that's it. But I don't get anybody else to transport, to keep, to do any logistic for me because I have the people, right? Many, but, but that's something that many big companies can do. So they have the space, they have the, the transportation, they have the people. So they can do all the logistics and they don't need anybody else to do that logistics for them, right? That's one PL, is, or, or, or self-logistic, or as you can call it, first party logistics. Me and me, right? I communicate with the one I'm buying and I communicate with the one I'm selling, but there is nobody as an intermediary to make the transportation from the supplier and either uh, or either to make the transportation to the customer because I have the trucks. They do all the process. I, they do everything, right? Everything, yeah. yeah. Because they have the trucks, the transportation, they have the space, they have the people, they have everything, right? That okay. Happen, oh, because the company is already very big and they are self capable, check this word, of administering and taking care of administering. Right? Oh, because they are so big that they have everything or because they are beginning and they are too small to pay anybody, right? So at the moment they are too small that they can manage to do everything. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say it can be any of the two cases that or you are so big that you have everything to do your own business alone or you are so small that you don't need to pay anything because in your car, in your pickup, you can transport everything, right? Now, when you have PL, uh, that's a traditional transportation in, in this case, this, hola. Do you take the attendance? What time is it? Oops. Thank you. Thank you, Alberto. Yeah, it's time for the new attendance. Let me check. Adolfo? Present teacher. Nice. Eh, eh, María? Pobre Chuchito Adolfo, mucho le pega. <laughs> <laughs> It's the neighbor, neighbor dogs. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Jose Alberto. 
Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Jose Arnoldo. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio. No está Mauricio. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl. No, no, ¿verdad? Ok. Zulma Yanet. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Okay. Great, great, great. Now, we continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're talking about the 2PL or traditional transportation provider. Uh, Rosie, can you help me read? Yes, teacher. Traditional transportation provider. This model simply refers to the intermediary between the buyer and the seller. Example. I, that is example. <laughs> Así se, eso significa example. Uh, example. The asset basket carriers that bridge the bridge, bridge, the bridge, the distance between the and buyer and the seller. Mm -hmm. Supply chain includes railways, roadways, Air and marine. Mm -hmm. This asset basket base. carrier base mm -hmm. carriers possess cheap airlines on lists which are expensive. Uh -huh. Which are extensively used for transportation. For transportation. <laughs> Transport, transporting heavy and wholesale, wholesale goods overseas. In other words, the <laughs> 2PL applies to the carriers that act as a professional arranger of all the transaction, trans, ay, transaction between the buyer and the seller. Mm -hmm. So imagine if uh, the person who's selling too far from the person who's going to buy, there is a traditional transaction uh, transportation provider. And that can include railways, railways, air, or marine, right? And that's why it says that these asset-based carriers possess chips, airplanes, on lease, which are extensively used for transporting heavy and wholesale goods services. So you have no choice because you're selling products all over the world, then you need to hire somebody to transport. Because if you want to send something to Guatemala, you're not going to take it yourself. That would be too expensive, right? And you're going to abandon your company for going to Guatemala to take something that you want to sell. So in that case, we have a traditional transportation provider. That's a 2PL. And then we go for a 3PL. That's logistic service provider, the one that we have been talking about, right? This is where information broadens a little, right? The 3PL logistics is the most popular model in commercial shipping. That's the one we have been talking about. Like the 2PL model, it also involves the transportation and administration of all the services that are carried out, right? So here it's not only transportation. Remember in the in the 2PL, we were talking only about transportation. That was it. 
But if we talk about the three PL, we're talking about transportation and administration of all the services that are carried out. However, it comes equipped with other services as well. So it gives extra, right? The three PL gives extra. They, they range from inventory management or warehouse. That's part of the, of the three PL, something that the two PL doesn't offer, right? Labeling, product packaging, customs, brokerage, IT, so technology, right? IT services, such as tracking products. Remember, we have been talking about that, that, that they give you a tracking number. And if you call them this, and I would like to know where my package is, they can check and they say, ah, okay, your package right now is getting to Colombia, right? So it is getting to United States, depending on what is the way that your product Mm -hmm. Right? And social as products, as certain delivery status, and many other things, right? This model is common due to rendition of all the aforementioned services carried out by the logistics solutions. So the purpose of the 3PL logistics is to give you supporting all the areas, right? all the areas, not just transportation, but warehousing, inventory, labeling, packaging, uh, depending on what you need, right? So that's why uh, if you remember the question we had at the beginning, how can you choose your 3PL? Hmm, it depends on what you really need, right? What are your needs? What are you going to transport? What quantity of product do you want to transport, right? Uh, if you want to move something that is frozen, if you will need uh, them to take it to a warehouse of their own, or if you have your own warehouse and they will take it to you there. If they will be labeling the products, packaging the products, if you want them to take the products back to the customer. So all those things have to be considered here, right? When choosing the three PL. And we have one more, that's the four PL. This is a supply chain overseas. And it comes into play where three PL ceases to stretch out, right? If the 3PL says no, hasta ya, ya no, ya no, ya no, ya too much, right? Then we get the 4PL. The array of services that are covered in 3PL. So they give you transportation, warehousing, packing, labeling, shipping. So they give you all those things. And also they have something else, right? But with the, it says, with the exception that the operational handling of the transportation, along with the inventory management is also outsourced to the logistic solutions provide. So this is a company that offers you the, the, the service logistics that you can do it alone. They hire another one to do it, right? So it's like when you have like when you rent a house and then you rent part of the house to another person, see? So I don't know <laughs> if you get the example, but imagine you rent in your house, you pay for the whole house, but there is a person living in your house that to whom you are renting a room and that person pays to you and you pay to the, to the owner. So here yeah. we have something like that. Right, because they are responsible to the company who has hired them, but they also give some of the outsourcing to another three PL. Because it's they, very common. Yes, yes. So they there is like a an extra, right? Basically, in three PL logistics, the seller or manufacturer takes care of the operational handling. 
that if you are talking about the 4PL logistics, the solutions provider administers the, entra the entire supply chain. So that means that me, as the owner of the product, don't worry about anything because all the supply chain is responsible of the 4PL, right? They will do everything for me. I only pay and they do everything, right? Whereas uh, it says that the 4PL logistics, the solutions provider administers the, the entire supply chain. And this associates the logistics solutions provider with suppliers, retailers, producers, financiers, along with IT service providers. So I have the company, but I don't have contact with nobody, no, with the supplier, with the retailers, with the producers, with the financiers. It's like I'm the owner of the company, but somebody else does everything for me and I just pay, right? That is the 4PL. It is important, of course, to acknowledge that the transportation services are not based out of the logistic solutions provider, but instead just monitored by them. So the 4PL will not drive the trucks. They will monitor the trucks of the three PL that they have hired to do the transportation. See? So it's like I have a company, but I hire Rosie as a four PL, and Rosie hires uh, Carla as a three PL, and Carlita makes the transportation and the logistics, and Rosie is watching that Carlita is doing everything, what she's monitoring. And me, I'm just receiving the profit. I'm paying for the jobs, right? I'm not doing anything. Okay, so that's that's how this works. What do you think about this? Which do you prefer? In the 3PL, you have to be uh, paying attention to what they are doing. You are monitoring, you as the owner of the company. In the 4PL, you forget about everything. Right, you forget about everything and you hire somebody else to monitor all the jobs for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually most company around the world, they have a supply chain overseas. Yes, especially when they become very big. Mm -hmm. When they become very big, they cannot, they cannot do it. Yeah. They cannot, do it. They cannot manage to watch 50 companies or 50 brands. Yeah. So they need somebody else to do it for them. Yeah, and you can see, for example, in the laptop industry, yeah, uh, you get a, a laptop from China, but the company is from USA, mm -hmm. but some parts of the PC, are Bangladesh, are La India, right? That's true. That's true. Okay. Any question here? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, let's go to the easy thing. Let's go to the conversation, right? Um, here we have Bob and Dave talking. They are discussing the option of hiring a 3PL provider for their sub business. They have a sub business and they want to hire somebody to, to do the logistics, right? Okay, let's read together. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it is time to take business out of the house? I found something called their party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. Hmm, I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party 
service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Hmm, well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, now let's re read after me. There is no more room in our house for more of our organic soap. There is no more, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Don't no. you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. I found something, I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. This service, this service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. I don't think so, Bob. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, as far as I know, as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. The business is not big enough. The business is not big enough to hire to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, to the best of my, the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. The soap the is soap selling, is selling like, crazy. like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. And, and I, I believe, believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet. Choose a couple of, Choose a couple of those companies from the internet. And then we can call them to get some advice. And then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, great. You're going to go on to page 21, and then you will practice this conversation and answer the questions. Okay, are Bob and Daisy having a problems to store their products? Do they know a lot about 3PLs? Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices when hiring a 3PL? Okay. Well, I'm going to make groups and I'm going to send you to work together. Let's see. What page in the manual, teacher? I don't remember, 20, 21? 21. Okay, thank you. We are going to do okay. If suddenly you feel lonely, call me, okay? Anyway, I'm going to be watching you around. Page 21, go practice the conversation. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Are you there? Hello, yes. Subió okay. un porque no se ve completa. Okay. You are both and me, Daisy. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. 
As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third part service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is telling my crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packing. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, the first question, are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? Yes, they have. Yes, they have problems. Yes, they are. Okay. Yes, they they are having problems. They are having 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 problems with. Do the, they know a lot what? about KPM? Oops, not the casi not the oil. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's the energy. Okay. Storage, store. Okay. Storage, así es. Mm -hmm. okay. La segunda, do they know a lot about PPL? Mm, in the reading, I suppose they don't have no. too much. Uh -huh. I found something cool. Okay, no. Where? What's a shopping can? But no, I suppose they don't have about. They don't. They don't know. They enough. don't know. And no. About three pm. Mm -hmm. About three pm. Don't know anything. <laughs> Nothing about that. They don't know anything. <laughs> Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices? Entonces, voy a ser Bob, Alberto, voy a ser Daisy, y luego nos alternamos con Brenda. Okay. okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with a storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best to the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Uh, chose a couple, a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay. Now turn of Brenda. And they Brenda and Okay. Uh, ah. you, you Bob. Okay. Um, um, Alberto Bob and you Daisy. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah. Uh, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business of out of the of the out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of capacity. Packaging. Packaging. The packaging. 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 Mm -hmm. packaging. Choose a couple of dozen companies from the internet 
and then we can call them to get some advice. You hear that? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Um. Well, the answers. Oh, sorry, the questions. Victor, you you can move the the screen. <laughs> okay. Yes. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to start their product? Yes, they have problems. For the space, they have many sales. They have problems. You have difficult to storage. <laughs> okay. Into the room or in the room, teacher? In the room. In the room. In the room. Okay. Do they know a lot of a lot about TPL? Not. They have not they don't known. They have information from Google. Yes. They don't just have information. They only have information. From Google. Not experience. Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider repeal when Hydra a repeal? Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider price when hearing? No. No, they don't consider price. No. Entonces no consideran el precio. No. Because mm. the because the because they talk about the the solution but do, but you are storage in in any more in any moment and talk about the price for the for the service. Mm -hmm. They are thinking about the the capacity that they have or that they are just beginning, right? But they are not thinking about the money. Yes, because the the, the Bob and Daisy only talk about the uh, they don't have uh, storage in the house. Mm -hmm. But uh, we they think and the the company is is uh, small for the for the cell or for the for the tpl but both thing the the shop is uh, the selling selling much then uh, the discussion because it's the con contratar como se dice higher higher the higher are the TPL for the uh, for the outsourcing y consulting mm -hmm. Exactly. No for no for doing the job, right? Just for telling them what to do. That's yeah. what they are planning. Uh-huh. In any in, in any moment? Bueno, in no moment. 
in no moment and uh, they talk about the price about the strategy mm -hmm. or the distribution nothing only talk about the storage uh -huh. exactly. but um uh, but in this Okay, you're done. I might yes, just teacher. ask check one more group and then I call you. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Your screen, Claudia? Yes, yes. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Ocho, dos punto nueve, por así creo que ya. Y ya, y ya está, ya estoy avanzando en eso nada más. Ah, ok. Yo esta semana no, no, no he hecho avance de nada, pero tengo que hacerlo para el viernes cumplir con todo lo de la semana. Uh -huh. Y la verdad que está bien, bien interesante porque hay bastante material de, de apoyo. Sí. Que ah, vale. Hay que repasar bastante lo de las clases. Sí, la verdad que sí. Y la verdad que está bonito porque eh, hemos estado viendo términos, por ejemplo, que en cuestión de negocios sí de, a, aplican un montón de cosas. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. todo lo que estuvimos viendo en los módulos anteriores sobre las ventas, mercadeo, y un montón uh -huh. de connotaciones que en inglés son bien, bien, bien importantes. Uh -huh. Ahora, Yo creo que hasta, es... eh, hasta este módulo me uní, no, no, no tenía idea de, de cómo, qué es lo que han estado viendo también ustedes. Pues, realmente. Ah... Pero, bueno, no sé. Ya voy a ver si se pueden descargar los, los folletos para reenviar. Ya, yeah, Iris. Si se... De ¿Sí? manos. Do you have the manos, eh, Nubia? The, the, the pass, eh, mo, eh, módulos. Mm -hmm. I can the... you can download. download it, really. I can't. You couldn't. Because uh, really I shared it in the in the in the WhatsApp too. But, but the WhatsApp in the chat, the people, the English corporation, mm -hmm. uh, erase the chat. But uh -huh, but last course you didn't download the book. It's the manual from the WhatsApp. I don't know, teacher. Probably you have it there in your computer. Or I think that I into the platform, platform mm -hmm, from the uh, download the manual. Yeah, I think it could be possible that you have it. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, it's a good idea to go refresh, right? Yes, I sent a, a, you a can, Peter. Mm -hmm. You can send it to, to Pedro. Send to the Peter, but Thank he you. read. Yeah. A, to yeah. take a, an image of all the knowledge that you got, that you received in the last mode. <laughs> in the first level of intermediate. Yeah, all intermediate is business. All intermediate. Yeah. With, that is very important. We started with the team. 
with the business idea, and we have gone in moving through the different topics there. Bueno, let's go. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Hi, Saul, how are you? ¿Qué se me había hecho? Who, teacher? Um, que por ahí lo veo. Ah. Por ahí, por ahí anda. <laughs> okay, vaya, vamos a ver. Let's see, let's see. Eh, Bob, ¿quién quiere ser Bob? Me. Or victim. Okay, Anna. <laughs> Anna is Bob. Who wants to be Daisy? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic. <laughs> Don't you think it is time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out of, with the storage. I don't think, think so. Oh, as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of sourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. I will need two more volunteers for victims. I want to be one. Okay, Fernando is one. Who wants to be the other one? Me, teacher. Okay, Claudia. Fernando, you are Bob. And Claudia is Daisy. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called tier party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bo. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hear a tier party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging, choose a company of stuff, companies from the internet, internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Hey, excellent, thank you very much. Now, let's go check the questions for the answers. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? Um, Rose and me, uh, we conclude that Bob is having problem because Daisy, Daisy is selling the organic soap to, to Bob, right? or it's a family company, I don't know. I think it's a, a family company because yeah. it's in our house, right? Mm, okay. I think. A anyway, anyway, the Bob is considered that they have a problem, but they see they not consider she said, mm, well, todavía está muy chiquito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, do you think they are having problems to store their products? What do you think? I think both is 
he's excited about the sellings, but he's not thinking about the price that it have to pay for the services that don't jump to number three. We are in number one. Ah, so sorry. <laughs> number one. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? Yes, teacher. They have a problem. Mm -hmm. There is no more room in the, in, in the house. Exactly. I just imagine the house that you go everywhere you look, there's soap and soap and soap. And they have soap in the office, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. They have soap everywhere. Yeah, right? They have a problem. They have a so. problem. They need to hire a warehouse, right? A warehouse, yeah. Okay, do they know a lot about 3PLs? Not a lot, but they... Uh, they, they have a know about 3PLs, Bob. They know that 3PLs... <laughs> Bob, Bob uh, is the, found something in, in, in Google uh -huh. and, and they see, consider as a far I know, say, say Daisy, the business is not big and now to hire a third party services. She's not uh, about, about the TPLs, mm -hmm. but not a, no, it's a lot. Knowledge. Yeah, maybe Daisy knows more, right? Yeah. Or Bob is like, it's something new. He said, oh, third party. Yeah, we should get one. But Daisy says, mm -mm. no, yeah. <laughs> we have to grow a little bit more before we hire them. So maybe as, as you say, Alberto, maybe she knows a little bit more about mm -hmm. it. Uh-huh. What, what do they want to hire the 3PL to do? So Daisy has a thought about outsourcing something, but not a warehouse. Mm -hmm. Daisy is thinking about the packaging service. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. She thinking about the packaging service. She doesn't think that the, the, the warehouse is a problem. Probably she's planning about moving things from a room and she will say, well, we will take this room to keep everything. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But she says, uh -huh, what it is a problem for me is the packaging because I- And, she, packaging. and, she, has, the, and she has the power. <laughs> We always know. <laughs> <We> always know. <laughs> yeah. So she says, mm, I have to package all this so I cannot do it. I'm not worried about where I'm going to keep it. I'm worried about packaging. I imagine Daisy staying up late at night packaging soup. That's why she's worried about that. Okay, and the last one. Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices when hiring a 3PL? Mm -hmm. Probably yes. Because uh, Daisy is, is thinking about the, the, the um, outsourcing in the packaging. Uh-huh. And when say uh, that the company is not big enough, it, like the, she's considered that. Uh -huh. That she would be paying, it's not free, right? Uh -huh. And look at the last part. She says, choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. So she's not planning to hire anybody. She wants them to tell her what to do with her problem. She will do it. She look for an advice. 
Uh -huh. Not the price. Exactly. She wants just some advice, but she's not thinking about hiding anybody, right? She thinks that she can still do it because the business is not that big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's not thinking about price, right? She's not thinking about hiding anybody in general. She thinks mm, maybe later when we grow a little bit more, she will say probably next year. But mm -hmm. right? right now we are too small to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Do they need a 3PL? Or you think they are okay the way they are? No, they they need a a, a, a warehouse. A warehouse, uh -huh. mm -hmm. a warehouse, or build another room in the house. <laughs> <laughs> or a, a, a more big house. Sucking above. A house in bigger. <laughs> Sucking. <laughs> Okay, Bo. Dope instead of Bo. Okay, Bo with, with dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bo will sleep with the dog and then Soap will sleep with Daisy. Okay, Anna, tell me, Anna. I have a question. Can you tell me what is the meaning in the reading? Mm -hmm. in the, 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 expression. the expression to the best of my knowledge. To the best of my knowledge. So she knows something, right? She knows something. Or he, because it's Bob, right? <coughs> de lo mejor que yo sé. Por lo que yo sé. Uh -huh. So he, he has some knowledge. So he's thinking, or he's, because she's saying. Oh, hasta donde yo sé. Hasta donde yo sé, dice Daisy. And he says, for lo que sé, we'll say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when you want to express that you have, that you know something, pero así como, not imposing, right? Not imposing, but telling that you know something. And that mm -hmm. as far as I know, the World Cup begins next week, right? O sea, así como lo que yo sé. So can be as far as I know means that some knowledge that I have, that they don't have too much knowledge, right? I don't have too much knowledge, but that's what I know. Mm -hmm. That's Thank expressing you. expressing something or that you know something about some a topic there. Okay, any other question? No question, vámonos. Thank you for attending. I'm going to call the attendance. Hoy lo voy a dejar ir temprano, cabala, la tienda. Okay, thank you, teacher. <laughs> Vamos a ver who's staying with me today. Eleven, Jose Alfredo. Okay, Adolfo Rivas. Good night, teacher. Hi, Adriana Maria. Present. Great, great. Sophie. Bye for everybody. Blessing. Thank you. Adriana, Sofia. Present, teacher. Great. Anna, present teacher. Nice, nice. Brenda, Alexandra. Present teacher. And Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Claudia. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Siga mejorcito, David. Todavía está un poquito mal. Está, todavía se le oye bastante ronca la, la voz. José Alberto. Present teacher. 
José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, yo lo vi por allí. Ya no huyó. ¿Corriendo? José Alfredo no huye. No, ya se fue corriendo. Por aquí pasó. Él estuvo en mi grupo, José Alfredo. ¿Verdad? Sí, yo sé, sí, yo lo vi, que ahí andaba. Se fugó. Sí, José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Carlita. José Arnoldo, dije, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Ah, yo dije, me lo salté. Ok, ok. Mauricio. Mauricio. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Nice. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Ok. Saúl. Present. Ok. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Present. En San Miguel, Víctor. No. No, here. Okay. No, no. here. Porque, porque de repente lo oía así como allá. Yo dije. Lejos. Yo dije. No, no, no. Por here. Here. Carlita, you are in, in San Salvador right now. No, I am in San Miguel. I am working. Oh my goodness, Carlita, hubiera pedido incapacidad. <laughs> Rest a little bit. Okay, Fernando. Present teacher. Nice. Rosy. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ay, qué bello. Y un present por allí. Oh, ese está el muñeco. <laughs> Yeah, nice. On vacation, right? Estoy en vacaciones. Estoy en vacaciones. Qué genial, <laughs> qué genial. Pronto nosotros también. <laughs> okay, well, see you. See you tomorrow. Have a nice, a nice. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tell me, tell me. When, when is my tour to stay with you? Carlita, ya le cuento, Carlita. You are number 13, el viernes, Carlita. Ok, thank you. Good night. ¿A quién le toca ahora, teacher? A, a, le toca a José Alfredo, pero José Alfredo me perdió. Me fue corriendo. Sí. Huyó. Hay solo que alguien de ustedes quiera quedar. <ríe> Mal y corriendo. Teacher, you didn't mention me. Zulma, en serio. Sí, yes. Bien. Zulma. Ay, no me diga que me salté de, 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 de Saúl. <ríe> Zulma, Lorena, no Zulma y Anet. Yes. <ríe> me voy a cambiar. No. Okay. <ríe> ok, Zulma, so sorry. Ok. Ok. Have a nice week. Thank you. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Eh, en los ocho la pusieron un poco más Thank you. 